Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Final Fantasy 16 playthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to finish up some side quests, hopefully finish them all, and then start on the main mission. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We're not gonna bother hopping on our chocobo. Someone's got himself in trouble. I don't see your master here, so you can start by giving us all the coppers in your purse. I already told you, I have nothing. <laughs> then maybe we'll take that pretty outfit and the steel you're wearing. Uh, uh, please, these men are trying to rob me. I'll deal with this. Thank you. Are you that one's master then? If you'd kindly pay the cornios us, we can pretend you didn't draw your blade on Republican soldiers. Or you can go back to your garrison and I won't report you to your captain. Oh, you're more than welcome to. He hasn't had many visitors since we slit his throat. <laughs> 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 Farewell. Enough. Stay down. <laughs> oh, my God, we're like. On the cusp of the cusp of the cusp of leveling here. Come on, <laughs> let me get the level already. I'd expect as much from Hugo as faithful, but these were men of the fist. Much has changed in the Republican army since they lost their rock. You've seen this kind of thing before then? Many times. I was sent here to observe the situation. You're one of Rutherford's men. He sent me to look for you. Well, then you have my thanks. I fancy I could defend myself against one, perhaps two, but a whole regiment. I, I arrived in Dalamil several days ago, but when I called upon the captain of the local garrison to make inquiries, his men confiscated my effects and locked me in a cell. The captain is no more, and his men make the rules now. Fortunately, I was able to bribe my way free. Only to be stopped again by those soldiers you so kindly dispatched. What of the Fist Central Command? Surely they wouldn't allow such lawlessness amongst their ranks. I would imagine they are unaware of it. Most of the army has fallen back to the capital and hunkered down behind her walls. Those who weren't recalled now rule the fringes unchecked, answering to no one but themselves. Then it's worse than we imagined. You should return to Rosaria. It's not safe here. I'll find a caravan heading north. You won't mind if I borrow one of these soldiers' coin purses? Not at all. Now, to find this second associate of Rutherford's. If he was bound for Oriflam, I'll start at Northreach and see if I can pick up his trail. Oh, wow. All the way over here, huh? There's a lot of road between here and the capital. Rutherford's man could be anywhere. Hopefully not too far.
Oh my god, what the fuck is that over there? I think that might be a bounty. What the hell is this guy? Dude, are you kidding me? <laughs> what is going on? Is he behind here? This is so confusing. Why is this so difficult to find a dude? Oh my god, really? I ran by this guy multiple times? Oh, good lordy. What happened here? If you're with the others, they've already relieved me of my belongings. I'm not. I'm looking for someone who was sent here by a man named Rutherford. And then you found him. I'm Alastair Rockford, attendant to the Lady Ariane of House Wellesley. Of the seven high houses of Rosaria. It's been a long time since last I saw my great aunt. Is she well? My Lord Marquis? Uh, yes. Yes, she is. The Lady Dowager has granted me leave to assist your Uncle Stuart. I was on my way back from the old capital when I saw some villagers being robbed on the road here. Bandits. They looked more like field hands, but it didn't matter in the end. I did what I could to help the victims, but all it earned me was a pommel to the temple. Which way did they go? South, toward the gate. All right. I'll take care of them. Founder knows I've met enough of their kind. You head back to Northreach. Visit the Vale. Tell them I sent you. Thank you. I shall. Founder be your shield. They just couldn't resist, could they? This one's ours, pretty boy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Finally got a level. Shouldn't have healed, but whatever. Make for the town while you can. There may be more bandits nearby. You don't need to tell me twice. Many thanks, Traveler. This looks to be all of them. I thought I told you to make for the Vale. And stand by as ill might befall the heir to the Ducal Throne. It's just Clive, and I'm fine. Which is more than can be said for you. I will survive. Strange that the garrison wouldn't intervene in such a brazen attack so close to their gates. The garrison have their hands full inside the city. Some days they don't even send out patrols. There are few hands left to work the fields, and even fewer to transport the grain. The market stalls are nearly bare, and the price for what remains is exorbitant. It's not uncommon to see a fight break out over a crust of bread. When I said the ones who attacked me didn't have the look of bandits, I meant it. They were probably just desperate. Rockford, listen to me. If you are to continue your investigation, you first need to seek the attention of a healer. I... Of course. I shall return to Northreach right away. But allow me to thank you first. Had you not happened along, I... Don't thank me. Thank Rutherford. It was he who sent me. I suppose he'll be wondering where I've got to. I shall send a bestolus as soon as I'm able. Good day. My uncle certainly has his work cut out for him. If it isn't already too late. I should go and tell Rutherford that his colleagues are still in one piece. Let's go buy a couple of potions and then we're going to go to Martha's Rest. Welcome. You've a keen eye. Oops, did not mean to hit R2. For some reason, I always want to talk to Martha. I see you're still here. The rest's location affords a constant flow of traders, and with it, a constant flow of information. Speaking of which, I received word from both my associates. They have resumed their investigations, thanks to you. I only happen to be in the right place at the right time. They both seem to think the realm's prospects rather grim. I am afraid that grim would be putting it lightly. Storm is in crisis, and if we are to free her, we must work quickly. And we must work together. Such is your Lord Uncle's wish. As it is mine. Okay, before we go, mm, yeah, let's go to the hideaway first, and then we'll go over to uh, the main part, or well, where the main quest is, not the main part. I 
It seems the hideaway's lost its appetite. So, did you have that word with Tomes then? I did, and he was as helpful as ever. He told me exactly where to look, in fact. And what precisely will I be cooking up? Or is it better not to know? Blueback wyvern liver. And, uh, a herb known as Saint's Bonnet. Ah, wyvern livers, was it? Well, at least it weren't actual worms, I suppose. Now then, you stay right where you are. I've got some cooking to do. Let's hope these grand old chefs of yore knew what they were on about. And here we have it. Fried Mortress of Skyworm. Ivan's offered to make sure it's fit for consumption. Well, I say offered. He as good as begged. And rightly so. Is there any higher honour than partaking in a slice of culinary history? So, not fit for consumption, then. What... what witchery is this? The crackle of the crust gives way to an almost violent richness. Yet, it is the piquant kiss of the saint's bonnet that tames this savage dish. It is a tour de force. A force of nature, even. A maelstrom of flavour and sensation. A graceful beast emerging from centuries of slumber. I think he likes it. Well, I can't quite tell with all that nonsense he's talking. But I reckon you might be right. It was decent then, I take it. Decent? It's remarkable. And I defy any man to say a word to the contrary. Sid, might I suggest that you command a party of your finest men and women to procure a dozen blueback wyverns forthwith. I'll give it some thought. I think that guy is just dramatic. Nothing like a dish of cold vengeance to foul the gut. Uh, I'm sorry, Nan. I, I didn't mean to make things worse. I just thought I had to protect you. Like you've protected me. Aye. Well, someone had to. Your parents certainly didn't give a whip for your well-being. Reckon the both of us would be worse off if I'd not taken you on. You've always been me right eye, Goots. And I'd have you stay that way. So don't you dare go looking for trouble again. Well, I will. If you ever need help, I'll do it again and again. And you can't stop me. Why, you big lump. Fine. Play the hero if it makes you happy. Thanks, Nan. I won't let you down. There's nothing he wouldn't do for you. That's as may be. But if he's ever to make his own way in life, he'll need to start looking out for himself as well. Till then, he'll need people to watch his back, just like you did in Dallamil. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. Of course. His family. Stop it. You make me one good eye, mister. I don't go thinking that'll do you any favours. A potion today will cost you the same as it did yesterday. Let's see. We can turn some stuff into Desiree. Did you see that? So 
Tell me you saw that. Clive! Here you go. Okay, so he wants us to go over there. Always something in there. So it wasn't Desiree, it was Gaunt, or whatever his name is. I can't pronounce his name. Gaunt, Gaunt. He wants us to go... Oh, damn it, I keep doing that. Where the hell does he want us to... Oh, all the way down there? Hmm. Okay. It's just that one, huh? Alright, well, we don't really have a choice, so we're gonna have to fast travel over here and work our way down to the side quest. Maybe we'll get to it today, maybe we won't. Let's stop wasting time. And we should probably do this as well. Go to our journal. And then... Oh wow, we can't even prioritize it. Okay. Whatever. Get rid of all those red markers. Is it bringing us down to the... Okay. It's bringing us down there. So that's good. So maybe we can kill two birds with one stone. We can use the ruins to cross the ravine. Assuming they would allow it. The echoes have a will of their own. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Stay down! Huh. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. grab that shiny over here uh, don't know if I want to fight him we could but eh, kind of a waste of time tell us about Yote Joshua she's strong-willed loyal and deadly with a blade much like Clive but with better manners <laughs> if you would bar up. Keep it up. No, poor Chocobo. I think we're coming up on, yes, we're coming up on that side quest. We're going to do that side quest, and then if we have enough time after the side quest, we're going to continue on with the main quest. You're in 
injured. What happened here? Where are your comrades? The ether flood up ahead. It swallowed our camp while we slept. My own men did this. Turned. Every last one of them. There's a village not far from here. A Tabor. The people were kind to us. It's only a matter of time before they won't stand the chance. We can't let those monsters reach the... Hoko, you catch your breath. Thank you. Our encampment is up ahead. Just off the track. <laughs> they must not reach Tabor. Forgive me, Lord Kuka. Rest well, soldier. He said the encampment was close. Let's hope the Akashic are still there. Another ether flood. They're everywhere now. We can't go around it. Then we'll just have to be careful. Good. I got here in time. <laughs> It's over. <laughs> Someone there! Please, I, I can't move my leg! That doesn't sound like an Akashic. You're with the battalion? I am. I heard the fighting. Are the others taken care of? One of your brothers in arms told me what happened and asked for help. Another survivor? Where is he? <laughs> Tell me. His wounds were too deep. <sighs> he was right to send you. Those things you slew are no longer my brothers. Tabor is safe thanks to you. Here, you've earned it. You seem familiar. Have we met? You must have me confused with someone else. Wait. That scar. Son of a whore. You're Sid. I was there. 
in Kostnis when you killed my brothers. I was there in Rosalith when you killed my commander! My war with Hugo Kupka is over. I bear no ill will toward those who followed him. And what of my ill will? Coward! Draw your steel. Lord Kupka shall be avenged! When your wounds have healed and your head has cooled, come and find me if you must. Though I hazard your life would be better spent in service of those who need it. Or have you forgotten your oath to the Republic? My oath? What would you know of oaths? I know how hard they are to keep. Which is why I'm giving you the chance to keep yours. No. <laughs> I won't be deceived. Lord Kupka told us of your crimes. You are an outlaw. A murderer, not some... <laughs> Some... Man... Like you or anyone else? I am nothing like you. But if you're not gonna kill me, then go. Leave! Just know that I will find you, Sid. Someday. I'm guessing maybe we'll be able to go that way eventually. I don't know. Let's finish making our way to Tabor. Or Tabor. Just gonna keep running, it's not worth fighting these guys. We're nearly there. Have you been to Tabor before? There are a few places I haven't. Where now, Joshua? There is a residence just inside the city gates. She awaits us within. My Lord Marquis, it is an honor. I am Yote, Knight of the Undying, charged with the protection of His Grace Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix. Ah, uh, of course. It all makes sense now. Would you care to elaborate? The Undying are loyal servants to the Ducal Throne. Or more specifically, to its heir. They have served our family for generations, albeit from the shadows. Since their inception, they have been tasked with the preservation and enactment of the rites of ancestral communion. After the events at Phoenix Gate, it was the Undying who delivered me to safety. And since the day I left Rosaria, Yote has been my constant companion and protector. Without her sword, I would not have survived my journey across the realm. Rise, Lady Yote. You saved my brother. I owe you a debt I can never repay. I but did my duty. Come now, tell us what you've discovered. Your Grace. It is as you feared. The vessel we spied off the coast of the Crystalline Dominion on the night of her fall. 
It was the Einherjar. Beyond any doubt. The Black Galleon. Joshua. The Einherjar is the Royalist flagship. What business would they have in the Dominion? Uh, upon learning of Walud's involvement in recent events at Drake's Fang, I sensed the malign influence of Ultima, and bid Yote and the Undying look into the matter. We have reason to believe that the Black Galleon weighed anchor shortly after the fighting began, and set a course due south. For Canva? Then it is Waluda knights who besiege the cities. What is left of them? Yes. And the Black Galleon sails at but one man's behest. Barnabas Tharm. But are we truly safe here in the Agora? The city guard have been paid, if that's what you're implying. All the more reason for them to run. Well, you are free to leave, Lord Minister. <laughs> Markets abandoned, warehouses aflame, blackened hulls choking every port in the capital. Canva is ruined. The Rome teeters on the brink of chaos, and all you can think about is commerce. <laughs> Forgive us. We were not aware Dalmechia now subsisted on charity. Not quite. How dare you? <laughs> Distinguished members of the council. You must forgive His Majesty this intrusion. What did you... What is the meaning of this? A trifle crowded, but I fear it will have to serve, my liege. Very well. My colleagues, do you not see? The king, he has come to save us from the Akashic. He is a gift from the heavens, divine intervention, our very salvation. And of course, if it is compensation he requires, we would be most willing to negotiate a fair price for services rendered. Fools. Your ignorance unbecomes you. Your Majesty, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would swear that the fiends washing the cobbles of Canva with the blood of her citizens wear the colors of Walud. <laughs> ha! So you do not deny it. Guards, fetter them and see our guests to the dungeons! Enough. <laughs> Pathetic creatures. That you should imagine yourselves worthy of salvation. The girl is still here, somewhere in the city. Her consciousness fair dripping with her late father's hubris. A consciousness to which Muthos is inextricably bound and inexorably drawn. See that he is made welcome. Yes, Your Majesty. Come, Muthos. Surely the Prince's light cannot have sated you. So then, how long has Walud been under Ultima's control? 
How long indeed? Based on what we know of Barnabas' actions, I would guess some few years, mayhap more. But to what end? What does Ultima want? The tapestry. Show them. Phoenix Gate, Drake's Breath, and now here. But what is it? It is old, ancient, even. Nought's remains of the faith it represents, save what can be gleaned from the image itself. None could tell me what the one in the apodotry meant, even the undying. But I believe it may be the key to discerning Ultima's purpose. That figure in the center the one beneath whom the icons congregate, that I believe to be Ultima. He is a god, or at least godlike, his very existence beyond our ken. The icons, and by extension their dominance, are meant to be his subjects, and while some, like Barnabas, have accepted this role, others have rejected it, like you, Clive, which is rather inconvenient, as it appears he needs you most of all. And gods don't like to be disobeyed. No, oh, I don't suppose they do. Clive, may I tell Yote of the lake? By all means. Yote, I will be accompanying my brother to the free cities. Whilst we are afield, I would have you watch over those Clive has made his wards. Omielos Delan to Isag Ilith. Though well concealed, the hideaway lacks trained fighters to defend its occupants should they be discovered. But it is my duty to. As it has ever been my brother's duty, remember. If. if that is your wish, Your Grace. But please be safe. If aught were to befall you, I. You have my word. Farewell, my lord, my lady. We are in your debt, Yote. Let's find our friends. It's plain she cares for you very deeply. And I her. Which is why I had to let her go. Yeah, I have a feeling that uh, Yota and Joshua are a little more than friends. <laughs> a little more than, the, you know, just traveling together. Anyhow, with that being said, I want to start by telling everybody thank you so much for stopping by and watching the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.